Hi, this is review for the song 253 monitor. Uh it's a e-ink monitor. I'm really sorry for delayed uh review. I promised in my comments that I will be reviewing it, but I had some reason. One of the reason is that I don't have that monitor anymore, so I was like, should I do it or should I not do it? So um but I'm going to review it as a programmer you uh should you buy it or not buy it there are multiple benefits for this one and a lot of cons for the, this monitor as well so i'm going to go into those detail and why it is good for you or not good for you uh so let's discuss about the pros of this monitor so we have it is extremely present on your eyes that should be obvious because that's the reason we buy it uh darkness on the letters is uh good enough that you can read it is resolution is good enough um it's i think 3k monitor but i was keeping it 2k to for the uh, for the mouse refresh rate is good enough that uh keyboard refresh rate is really good no issue there at all nothing at all mouse refresh rate was mouse was little bit slow so i was like keeping resolution at 2k and it was workable so if uh i keep working on that monitor then i get used to of that little lag on that monitor so it is workable if you buy that monitor and you just keep it as a primary monitor and then after some time you will get used to it like it's not sometime like sometime mean after few hours you will be get used to the the mouse lag and you don't feel it that much now coming back to the cons and again i will bring that mouse in cons as well so the problem is like it is uh 16 shades of gray in that monitor but in practical use i was not the shades are not that much different i think that i was not able to distinguish between uh different colors different tabs so i have to have another color monitor beside it now the problem is starting here so the first problem is if you want a dual monitor setup like you want to run visual studio on one monitor and sql server management studio on another one uh it is really difficult to do the, to do so because one of the reason is like you want to see what is going on that black black and white monitor so you will like either if you have a dual setup you will be dragging your application all the time to the uh color monitor or you can duplicate the display so in if you duplicate the display then you have you will not have the dual monitor setup so uh, more practical use is like you have to have a duplicate display that's what i did so whenever like i'm working on it i cannot understand the tab or something i will like look into the color monitor and then start working back again so uh like i said the problem starts here when you install another monitor with it if you keep only this monitor and you get used to of this monitor this is good if you can work on it but the problem starts when you have another monitor installed duplicate monitor now the problem was happening like i'm working on it and then slowly i will like i will be looking on the color monitor i'm always and then after i would realize that i'm looking at that monitor and then i will come back and start working on it so it became my habit because that color monitor is more attractive to the eyes more candy to the eyes so i was like always looking at that monitor so it's starting strain in my neck so that's another problem so you have to like start work keep working there and then you come back and then start working here then you have to train yourself to come back 
now the problem starts starts here so you have you have to have a light theme on this monitor on the song monitor because in dark mode you will not be able to see it but when you go to the color monitor to see it's really bright because you made everything bright on this the song monitor so you have you will like a dark mode on the color monitor and the light mode on this one so in windows 10 i have windows 10 on my pc there's no option to do different modes on the monitors on different monitors so you have to have a same theme either dark mode or light mode so for this monitor we need a light mode theme okay another problem so you if you want to work on that color monitor for some time uh, like you're browsing uh, stack overflow or something and then you keep using your mouse over there so your mouse is working fine on that color monitor and then you come back to work on this monitor and then you will feel that lag again again like because you you're not used to have that lag anymore because you're working on that color monitor so you go back and forth on that monitor color monitor and the uh, black and white monitor you will feel that lag every time so either you work on this monitor only black and white monitor and don't use the color monitor then you will be good so it depends on the usage if you are like using excel sheet you make everything light or you're working on visual studio code made everything light there's like uh, um, a theme makes it, it light mode or video studio 2020 you make it light theme and you keep working on it sql service management studio works great on it so if you're working only on this monitor and uh, you can like change every setting change every theme windows theme everything make it whiter then you can work on this monitor but you the moment you install another monitor for complement this monitor then you will start having problems either you have to drag your application um, you will feel the mouse lag and that's frustrating so for me what was going on like i have i have this uh, desk which is like 80 inches desk so i have install monitor on my left side I kept that monitor on the right side was so my color monitor on the left side was black and white so i tried doing it like if i want to work on that black and white monitor i will just move my chair on this side and then start working on it and move my chair on that side but it was not practical use maybe i'm lazy uh, maybe you can work on that so uh my input about if somebody want to buy this and how to set up uh, i did a lot of changes i bought dual monitor arm i bought single monitor arm like i put my monitor side by side so if somebody wanted to do setup i can give my input on that uh, what i was planning let let me say that uh, i was planning to install a motorized rail on my desk so if i want to switch between monitors like if i'm working on writing a big store procedure like i wanted to switch between from my color monitor to the black and white monitor so i was planning to have a rail and like elgato uh, desk button or some physical button so click on it so it will switch my monitor from from left to right and then it will switch theme in my uh, PC to white or dark mode or light mode. So that was my plan to like have a physical button, click this one, dark mode, switch monitor and start working on it and then click the other button and then it goes back. But it was a lot of work to have that set up. So that's why I like uh, one of the reason I returned it. And another reason was like I found another monitor uh, and I already have ordered that monitor as well. Uh, Sunbeam, uh, Sunbeam display. It is RLCD monitor without the, the, the lights. 
So, but that monitor has, it is full HD uh, resolution. So that's the only problem I have with that monitor. So it's, I already ordered that, it's on the way. When it comes back, then I will be uh, reviewing that monitor as well. But that monitor looks more practical to me. Uh, it might not be that pleasant, like uh, the e-ink monitor. E-ink is awesome. Like when I'm working on it, it's awesome. Uh, the practical of usage of that monitor was the issue. When I'm using it for my programming and switching between application and browsers and uh, Visual Studio and SQL Server. So that was the issue. I cannot switch it. I cannot switch the dark mode. I cannot uh, go back to uh, my color monitor and black and white monitor. The mouse lag keeps coming. So those issues, that was, I was like tired. And then what happening was that I, I was just keeping this monitor on my left side. I was never looking at that. I was, it was, uh, it was a good showpiece only. I was not using it anymore. I started using, I bought this 4K LG monitor. Yeah, really nice, but it has that light issue as well. So if you want to buy that, you want to set up, my suggestion is that do not buy dual arm monitor. Buy separate arms, and then you can maybe install on the desk on the left side, on the, on the back side one, and on the left side another one, and you can like drag it both should be separately movable. So you can bring that monitor in front of you or the other monitor in front of you, you can use it. I tried doing it with dual monitor, but like they were tangling with each other. So that was a problem. So buy two single monitor arms if you want to buy that for color and black and white monitor. Um, other thing is like, if you can avoid the color monitor at all, that would be good. Just keep single monitor set up, use it. That's another suggestion. Uh, lighting. Lighting issue was, mm, how do you say that? So, like, I installed, I have this uh, Xiaomi monitor lamp on my monitor. So, I had that on my color, black and white monitor as well. So, it was, the light was not going uniform on the whole screen. It was not reaching at the bottom part or the corners. So that was the issue. So you have to have another lamp, some something like a uh, desk lamp so to pointing at your monitor. But I just learned that they have, the song have another monitor with front light available as well. And that front light is like three different modes. So you can buy that one. I think it is $100 more than the, the other monitor. So if you want to buy that, I would suggest that buy a front light monitor because I was having issue with my monitor when uh, like I have to have buy different lamps to do that. Or you can buy maybe, uh, so this Xiaomi lamp is five volt. It is just USB powered uh, lamp. So if you want to buy a lamp for that monitor, I would suggest buy more power like uh, architect lamp, which is like 34 or 20 volts or something like that, 20 watts monitor. So you buy that one, I would suggest that. So that's for lighting. Uh, ghosting, um, I already, in one of my comments, I suggest told that that ghosting is not an issue it look an issue like it comes but because that monitor is really close to your eyes uh, reaching that button to clear it up is not an issue at all so uh, you can uh, I mean in practically using you will not have that issue pushing it or ghosting will not come that much if you like switch for testing purpose, I was switching more windows and then it was, uh, there was ghosting, but practically using, you're working on like SQL Server Manager Studio, Visual Studio, it's not, it will not bring that much ghosting. You can keep working for like hours and then you can push that button and then press that one again after some time. Okay, so another thing, another question you might ask, like, will I buy it again? 
uh, as soon as it comes in color monitor, I think I will buy it again. Uh, it is really extremely present on your eyes compared to this color monitor. I really loved it. Uh, practically, I was not using it because of that dark mode, light mode things. But if it comes in color mon color monitor, I will buy it. Um, and I'm buying that uh, Sunbeam display as well because that is color. I'm also thinking about buying, even like I loved it so much that I'm thinking about buying, changing my phone from iPhone to uh, Hisense e-ink monitor, uh, e-ink phone. It is, I think it's A7CC, uh, Hisense phone, which is e-ink phone. So because my experience with this monitor was really good, I want to buy a phone as well in e-ink. So that's, I'm, I'm gonna transform from iPhone. The only problem is that I have this Apple Watch, so I don't know how it will work. I might keep my iPhone as well and uh, e-ink phone as well. So I'm planning about that as well. Um, who should buy this monitor? Let's discuss about that. So if you have like single task job and you're not switching between application, like if you are working on only on SQL Server Manager Studio, amazing, you can work on it, it is practical. Uh, but if you're switching between applications and you have like a dark application, dark themed application, if, and you're not able to switch uh, the theme, you should not buy it. Um, the people who have problem with their eyes, uh, you cannot uh, spend much time on color screens, must buy this one, this is amazing. Um, maybe that uh, the, the color screen which is coming, uh, that Sunbeam, maybe that's more pleasant than this one or maybe less pleasant, I don't know. That one is uh, LCD screen, it's not e-ink. So I'm gonna see about that. Let me know if you have any question. I can. I will try my best to reply in comments. Uh, I don't have that monitor anymore, but I still have. I still remember how I used it, and I will be comparing it with uh, Sunbeam uh, RLCD monitor soon. Uh, it's on. It's in. I ordered it, but it is. I think it will take. They said eight weeks to reach. So I'm gonna review that as well.